what's up fellow shadow fighters welcome back to the channel today we are going to take a look at some of the tips and tricks that you can use to collect some good items in shadow fight 3. as you can see here i have pretty much collected every single set available in shadow fight 3. just to let you know i started playing this game back in 2017 when it was first released right now i am missing just one item to collect in the whole of this game the chapter 7 part 2 update came out in December and up to now I still haven't got the condensing eraser set. That's the one thing I am missing in this game. In this video I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can use to collect some good legendary sets. Without wasting more time, let's get to it. To get good items in this game you need to make smart decisions. I know so many players who have completed this game without spending a single penny. Right now I'm going to give you one simple tip that you can use to collect some good stuff. Most of the things you can collect in this game come from marathons. Right now there is the monthly marathon going on. In the June marathon you have the chance to collect rewards by opening quest chest keys. What I recommend you do is Collect all of these rewards, but do not claim them. Good things happen to all those who wait. Sometimes during the month, Nike might release another marathon. In that marathon, you might require booster packs to complete them. Now, if you make the right decision, you will not claim your rewards for this month. You will be patient for the next three weeks. Just be on the lookout. You never know. These guys like releasing two-day marathons that require booster packs to complete. Do not claim your rewards right away. You have like three weeks to complete them. If you wait a little bit, I guarantee you that you will be able to use the rewards for the June marathon to get more rewards. Also, I recommend that you collect your chest quest keys and save them. Claim everything when there is like two days left before the month ends. If you follow this procedure, I guarantee you that you will get some good items. I hope this tip helps you out in getting all the items that you want in this game. If you're still new to this channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. I do a lot of tutorial videos, so you don't want to miss out. If you're still new to Shadow Fight 3 and you are still in Chapter 2, I recommend you stay there and collect the two sets that are available in that chapter. You have the Guardian Dragon and soon in the future you will be having the Chain Knife set. So I recommend you remain in Chapter 2 until you collect all of those sets. When you get to Chapter 3, I recommend that you get the Judge set before you complete Chapter 3. It's going to be much easier to collect them. When you get to the chapter where there is the Abdicator and the Star Chaser, I recommend that you stay there Collect all of those rewards before you move forward. The most important sets in this game are the Abdicator, the Star Chaser, the Torturous Nightmare and the Divine Judge. Make sure you collect them in their respective chapters before you move on. The Abdicator and the Star Chaser will help you overcome the June's Plane. The Torturous Nightmare and the Judge set will help you destroy pretty much everyone in the game. So you need to make smart decisions in this game. Make smart decision when you collect marathon rewards. Right now we are gonna do some simple fighting with one of the most overpowered sets in the whole of Shadow Fight 3. Make way for the Torturous Nightmare. Today I'm gonna show you some of the simple tips and tricks you can use for the Shadow Attack of the Torturous Nightmare. I'm gonna destroy this first round then I'm gonna give you the procedures for doing the torturous nightmare shadow attacks. If you follow that procedure you can destroy the enemy before you go out of shadow form. So right now we are entering the second round and I'm gonna use the shadow attack. Just watch what I'm gonna do. First of all I'm gonna use the basic attack and then I'm gonna begin the shadow attack. So right now we're going to begin the shadow attack. Do the one for the weapon, do the peg top, and then do one low attack. Do not finish the whole hit. 
do another weapon attack, do another peg top, and then you destroy the enemy right away. The shadow attack sequence that I just showed you is the best for using the torturous nightmare. I don't think there is any other shadow attack sequence that you can use for the torturous nightmare. If you follow the one that I showed you, it's gonna destroy the enemy faster. So what's really going on in that shadow attack? First of all, when you do the shadow attack of the weapon, you follow up with the peg top, then you do one low attack, but do not finish it. Why do I recommend doing the low attack? It's gonna give you the chance to keep the bleeding effect. The low attack is gonna help you maintain the bleeding effect. So if you follow that procedure, you will destroy the enemy before you get out of shadow form. Right now we are destroying this unhinged border. Let's get to the second round and see what we can do. I am going to do the same shadow attack sequence. Let's see if we can destroy this guy faster. What you need to do is begin with a simple attack so you push the enemy closer to the wall. That's one of the key methods for this shadow attack sequence. So right now we are beginning. Do the peg top. Do one low attack to maintain the bleeding effect. This guy just died faster. Let's move on to the next round and see what we can do. The time has come to destroy Mr. Azuma the Felsher. In this first round, we're just gonna fight without some shadow attacks. The second round, I'm gonna do the shadow attacks to destroy Mr. Azuma faster. The Torturous Nightmare is one of the best sets in the whole of this game. You should try your best to get it before you defeat the shadow boss. Okay, Azuma is done, round number one. Let's jump to round number two. I have like full shadow energy, it's time to get some action going. What I'm gonna do is I'll begin with a simple attack so that I push Azuma closer to the wall. From there I'll begin the shadow attack of the weapon. So Azuma just went down. This is the only weapon that can shock enemies while in the shadow form. So we do a peg top, do one low attack, do the shadow attack. As you can see right there, I just shocked Azuma in the air. But oh no, he caught me with the eruption and he died of the poison. Torturous Nightmare is one of the best sets in the game. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. Enjoy the remainder of the matches. Until then, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.